Could we really understand the magic of flapping flight so that we can build robots that can fly better than the robots that are currently available? We believe that flapping flight is achieved with a combination of flapping and twisting of the wings which creates detached vortices which generate thrust. But are we at the moment using the optimal combination of the oscillatory pitching and plunging motions of the wing? To answer this question, an experimental setup is built in the wind tunnel of the University of Twente to see how the wing moves and how the stream of air moves around the wing while it's flapping. This allows for exploring the optimal wing motion for the rowbird. A helium-filled soap bubble generator is installed which blows thousands of bubbles per second into the wind tunnel. Four high-speed cameras film the bubbles to capture the movement of air around the wing with the shedding of vortices. Furthermore, a force sensor at the root of the wing can measure the resulting forces on the wing, like lift and thrust, and reflective markers on the wing can be filmed with cameras to track the wing movement and deformation at a sub-millimeter scale. We have studied the flexibility of the wing since it's an important part of why the rowbird flies the way it does. But how can we precisely describe the physics of a robotic bird with deformable wings interacting with the air around it? In the Port Wings project, we used the Port Hamiltonian framework to get insight into the energetic fundamentals and transport phenomena of fluid dynamics, structural dynamics, and fluid structure interactions. For example, if we consider the flapping wing setup we developed, we describe it as a network that represents the dynamics of the driving mechanism, the elastodynamics of the wing, and the aerodynamics of the air around it. The power supplied from the power source flows to the electric motor, and then some of it is stored as kinetic energy in the mechanism's inertia. Some of it is dissipated as heat and noise, and the rest goes to the flexible wing. The power supplied from the wind tunnel is also transferred to the wing through the moving boundary of the wing in the airflow injected inside the wind tunnel. In each cycle of the wing's flapping, the power supplied to the wing oscillates between kinetic energy and elastic potential energy, while the power that flows to the air is either stored as kinetic energy or dissipated in the vortices formed due to the wing's flapping motion. This methodology allows us to intrinsically handle open boundary conditions and thus use, reuse and combine sub-models in such a way that a real Lego of physics would be possible. The real advancements in science and technology are only achieved with a deep understanding of the fundamental theory as well as proper engineering and experimental skills targeted to the goal to be achieved.